Hey, good morning. Thanks for tuning back in to Morning Devotions. Uh, so glad you're joining us as we look today at chapter two of 1 Timothy. If you didn't get to watch yesterday's, Pastor Jeremy does a great job explaining 1 Timothy in the setting of the book we're reading this week. So be sure to check that out. But today I want us to read 1 Timothy chapter two, verses one through seven. And they say this, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. This has now been witnessed to at the proper time. And for this purpose, I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth. I'm not lying and a true and faithful teacher of the Gentiles. I love what Paul writes to Timothy here. He, you know, he's giving him some pastoral instruction, how to kind of deal with the people, the false teachers uh, of the church. And he says, hey, gather everybody and pray. He says petitions, prayers, and intercession. Grab them and pray together. Have prayer meetings. The message says pray every way you know how. And I love this picture because prayer produces uh, peace. He says that we may live in peace and live quiet lives because peace prepares the way for the message of Jesus. You know, I, I love that, that it isn't, it isn't strife and it isn't conflict or tension, but it's peace that prepares the way for the message of Jesus. And the message of Jesus is that God wants to save all people and prayer helps keep that at the forefront of our minds. Wherever you find yourself uh, today in the midst of COVID and uh, dealing with things reopening or going back to work or maybe still being at home, uh, it can be hard to remember and keep at the forefront of our minds that God wants to save all people, not just from COVID, but, but from lives of, of destruction, from a life without hope or without meaning. And Jesus wants to be our hope. And so I hope today that wherever you go, whether you're at work, whether you're at home, around your neighbors, whether you're logging on what feels like the 100th Zoom call, uh, that you would keep at the forefront of your mind that God wants to save all people, that he wants to bring hope, that he wants to restore things, that, that the hope of Jesus is still alive and still present even today in the midst of our circumstances. So before you go out, I'd love to pray for you. Jesus, I pray you would help every person watching this devotion today, God, to keep at the forefront of their mind the fact that you love us and God, that you love the world and that you don't want to just save us from, from our past and from our pain, but you want to save everyone. And so God, when we encounter people today, would you help us to, to keep that in our mind? God, would you help us to speak words of life and hope and truth and reflect who you are? And God, I thank you for those that we know that don't know you yet that haven't experienced that. God, would you help us to, to be burdened and broken for them, but God, also to be excited about the opportunity to share the message of who you are. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Hey, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow.